So what is going on guys, welcome back to yet another video here on the Freak Flyers YouTube channel and today we're going to be doing the review for the Barracuda Power Plus wingsuit that Interdare sent me to test and to use for my fun jumps. The Barracuda Power Plus is an advanced wingsuit designed for experienced pilots who are looking to upsize and get a bigger and faster suit with more surface area. It's designed for skydiving but of course it will work just fine if you want to base jump with it. It's good for flocking, for freestyle, for XRW, acrobatic work, whatever you want to do with it. Simply put, it's the perfect all-around wingsuit and it's going to be good for 99% of your skydiving wingsuit needs. Compared to its predecessor, it features better inlets, more ribs on the upper part of the arm wing, tail ribs and an overall more efficient leading edge. All this combined makes for an overall great suit and way better than the predecessor. The suit can fly really fast and really pressurized while still remaining stable, but at the same time you can really slow it down and fly very flat and slow for those tricky extra level situations without the suit like losing pressure, maintaining stability and not stalling and becoming too tricky to fly at slow speeds. The myth with the last suit was that it was really really slow and didn't have any performance but that's not the case with the newer version. Thanks to the added ribs and the modifications the suit is way faster and way more rigid and also more efficient. This added efficiency helps not only with the speed but also with the suit's ability to maintain pressure during transitions. And even if you mess up and the suit loses some of its pressure during a transition or a rollover, it, re it quickly reinflates due to the newly designed really good inlets. You will barely have time to notice if the suit does lose some pressure during a transition. But due to the fact that the suit has added ribs, it does maintain pressure pressurization really really well and it does fly really really rigid. And again, it doesn't have too many ribs where it feels like it's slow inflating because again it has such good big 3D inlets. But it is good that the suit inflates really well and is very rigid. I love to fly the suit rigid. The newly re the new redesigned winglets, they have the 3D shape. They suck in a lot of air. I don't, it doesn't matter if you're flying really, really flat. If you're flying at a really steep, fast angle, those inlets are always sucking in air and they're always keeping your suit really rigid and really pressurized. It's not too rigid where you don't have any mobility in it. It still feels really natural to fly with a bot and really easy to control. It's not super hard to control like those other racing suits that are super rigid and fast and completely lock you in place. It still feels like an acrobatic suit. Still feels like a suit you can fly with your bot and can control really nicely. But again, it, if you do want to add speed, to add angle, to give it power and to give it inflation, it is possible to do. It's very natural to fly on the back. It's not like those suits that don't really inflate on the back. It does really, really nicely inflate on the back because of the again the big winglets that it has on the on the on the wing, arm wings and on the leg wings between the legs. It inflates really well on the back, and you can kind of fly it sloppy if you want to. If you want to fly at like super slow speed and fall like a brick on your back, you can, and the suit will remain inflated. It will not start flapping around. Super nice to fly on the back, and you have a lot of range on the back too. You can really give it max power, and you're flying, you know, really, really nicely, and you can even keep up with the big suits on the back. But at the same time, you can really fly like a brick and just fall through the sky uh, if you do need to, you know, to, keep, to maybe uh, catch up to someone. No matter how fast you fly, it doesn't matter the angle you put it in, doesn't matter how aggressive you're being, even if you're doing head down, uh, fast head down carving, it, you can control the suit, it never feels unstable. Flying flat and slow is also where this suit kind of shines. It is able to go really, really slow and really, really just... You know, for those tricky XRW uh, jumps, going super slow, you know, where the jumper doesn't care and he's just completely open and is creating a lot of drag with his body, you're really able to slow down with your face and your chest and really use the suit slow down. And it's not like other less efficient suits where, where you're trying to slow down and it starts losing pressure in the extremities of your limbs. No, it just keeps inflated and keeps flying, lets you really, really do a slow, nice approach. If you want me to talk, if you want to listen to the, you know, the characteristics of the suit, the little details that it has, I did a video, an unboxing and preview video, where I talked about every little detail of the suit. If you want to see that, the link was in, will be in the description. And this video is just a review and my personal experience and what I liked and didn't like about the suit. Now, talking about things that are not directly related to flying, which is basically everything related to assembling the suit all the way down to, you know, taking it off, putting it on, all that stuff. Assembling the suit, I love the system, Interdash system is amazing, I really enjoy it. It only has one adjustable zipper, which is the zipper on your handles. Um, the other one is the, the, the stabilizer zipper is actually fixed, I really like that. It's really, really fast to assemble, you can assemble it in like two minutes. I have done jumps where I've landed on my patchwork, came, assembled the suit and went on the backup. 
It's really that easy and that fast and that efficient to assemble. Now to put it on, it's just like any other suit. It has the one zipper design from the feet, from your feet, from your foot to your um, to your chest. One zipper on each side. Again, the zippers are amazing. I love the zipper brand. It's the same zipper brand that other wingsuit brands use. It's really good zippers. Nothing to complain there. Camera pocket is amazing. The leading edge of the suit. Uh, I have the freestyle version, which is the one I'm using. I haven't yet used the 3D performance foam, but I will and I'll give you guys my opinion when I, once I do so. So when all is said and done, the Barracuda Power Plus is an amazing performer of a wingsuit. It does not disappoint at all it completely lives up to the current industry standards for ring suits it keeps up with the, with the other suits it's not less than any other suit in the market right now and it's perfectly capable it's your perfect drop zone wing suit for you to do anything for you to have some fun for you to do some xrw for you to do some students even if you're coaching it's perfect for pretty much everything that you throw at it in skydiving at least so if you are wondering if this suit is right for you i will be making a comparison of all the suits that intro there makes so stay tuned for that if you have any questions or complimentary information you would like to add, you can do so in the comment section down below. And as always, I'll see you next time.